This is Miss Insanity. Um, I'm currently at the hospital with my grandmother. Um, she went to sleep on me, so I figure I'd just do something productive in the meantime. I'm coming to you for day dang, 10 and day 11. Day 10 was kind of trying. I can honestly say it was kind of trying because I guess I was on day 10 and I was kind of excited. Uh, but the rest of the day was pretty good. I didn't have any problems with anything that day. Um, as for today, it's a whole different story. Today has been extremely trying for me. Um, I actually have a whole thing on lemonade left, actually. Um, I haven't been hung hungry. I did my salt water flush, that was fine. The lemonade, I don't know, I just haven't been hungry. And I really didn't want to drink too much because I was actually going to my meeting to, um, step on the scale to see how much I've lost. I was really, really, really discouraged because I only lost three pounds. But I'm actually attributing only, three pounds is good, don't get me wrong, three pounds is good. But for me, um, the last time I weighed in, I think was seven days ago, so or five days ago. So three pounds in only like five or six days was really bad for me. And I was trying to figure out what I did wrong. But, um, because the first time I weighed in, I had lost four pounds in four days. So I wasn't sure what, you know, I had done wrong. But I um, I had attributed to the fact that um, this whole entire week, I haven't been getting up early, doing a saltwater flush early in the morning, or drinking a tea before 8 like I was before. So my normal schedule was to wake up at about 7 o'clock in the morning, do the saltwater flush, drink the um, lemonade all throughout the day. So it's my metabolism, I guess, is constantly trying to burn the maple syrup. And then about eight o'clock or nine o'clock, do the salt, I'm sorry, do the um, laxative tea. And then be to sleep by 10 o'clock to do the same thing the next day. And the first couple of days, I guess that's why I was losing a pound a day. But after that, I started getting a little lazy, sleeping in to about 11 o'clock, sometimes even 12, doing a salt water flush about 12 something. And then, um, you can't drink any lemonade for a half an hour after the salt water flush. So I usually don't drink any for about um, about an hour, hour and a half after the salt water flush because I'm on the toilet, running to the toilet for about 45 minutes. And then I'll make the um, lemonade and then start drinking it. By the time you drink all that water and salt water flush, you don't want any lemonade because there's so much you have to drink. And then running back and forth to the bathroom is kind of tiring. But, um... As for as for losing only three pounds, it was kind of discouraging because I'm like so many days, constant, constant, you know, of not eating, you know, um, trying to resist food, you know, in different places, and you know, um, my family cooking stuff that just smells so good. I'm kind of like, oh, I just want to resort back to food. I could lose three pounds a week doing um, intense workout at the gym or doing insanity or p90x or something like that so i was kind of disturbed and i said at least then i have to eat but i was kind of discouraged but i said you know i, I might have been doing it wrong I, maybe if i go see but what, what i'm thinking about doing is for the next seven days getting up early seven o'clock in the morning doing my salt water flush drinking my lemonade throughout the day throughout the day and then doing um drinking my laxative tea about nine o'clock so that I can be to bed about 10 and do the same routine for seven days. Now, if I lose more pounds, then I can understand why I only lost three pounds this last five or six days. But um, if I don't and I only lose three pounds again, then I'm done. <laughs> but it's not all about the weight loss. It's not. But that's the attribute I guess you want to see the most. You want to see weight loss you want to see a change in your body i know a change in my colon has happened i know a change in my face has definitely happened and i like it and my tongue has turned primarily pink uh, i have birthmarks on my tongue if you can see but my tongue is primarily pink and not coated in entirely white so i'm really good about that i'm really happy about that um 
I just, I guess I had a hard time drinking lemonade today. And I guess the point of drinking the lemonade is all day for your metabolism to keep burning. I guess I'm saving my lemonade, you know, because I haven't been hungry and just kind of drinking it all at one time, which is probably not the best thing to do. Um, I'm at the hospital. If you want to see how much lemonade, just give me one second. <laughs> You're silly. This is how much lemonade I still have left. And it's about 9 o'clock at night. And I still have this much lemonade. That's bad. But I haven't been hungry. I didn't wake up today until 1 o'clock. Because the day before I was just running around. I was here at the hospital. I was just doing so much. But um, day 10 and 11, I guess, has been more difficult. My guess is the first day is usually good but to some people it's hard but maybe day 11 is like my day one I don't know but <laughs> that kind of discouraged me that I only lost three pounds in such a long period of time of not eating but I'm still having bowel movements um I'm going to think differently in a more positive manner um of what it's doing to my colon how you know my blood pressure has definitely changed and um and I haven't had, I, I have asthma, I haven't had an asthma attack since I've started the cleanse, and that's another good sign. So I'm going to think about the other health benefits besides weight loss, but I do would like to see some improvement, you know, in the weight loss category. Um, I was viewing some other YouTube videos, and one girl said she actually gained two pounds, and she was like, she don't know how she gained two pounds, but she did. But, um... That's kind of surprising to me also. But now I guess I can understand I didn't lose that much. <laughs> but um, that's the only thing I think I have to say about um, the Master Cleanse. I don't know. I just really would like to see a little bit more improvement. But I'm going to stay motivated. I'm going to keep making videos. Um, even if I have to, you know, uh, go up to day 30, I guess I will. Um, I'm really just looking for some... I'm just glad I did it in the first place because I haven't had cravings for any cigarettes. Actually, anytime I walk past people that smoke cigarettes, it really smells disgusting. And and I smell everything. I smell that the person who was smoking cigarettes drunk coffee and that's why their breath smells so bad. And I'm like, kind of like, uh, I don't want to smoke ever again in my life. Um, uh, I guess I'm going to continue to drink in uh, all this lemonade. <laughs> But um, every two days, like I said, I will continue to post videos on anything. But I'm glad I did lose three pounds. Honestly, I'm glad I did, did lose it because it's better than nothing. My clothes are fitting so much better. So maybe it's not how many pounds you lose. Maybe it's about um, your clothes fitting. I was able to get a, into a pair of jeans and actually have a little bit of room in them. I didn't wear them, but I just wanted to see if I could get into them. And they fit so much better. So maybe I should start looking at that about, you know, how my clothes are fitting and not how many pounds that I'm losing. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything for motivation, I guess, for me, just let me know. Comment on my page. Please subscribe. I would like to have more subscribers. I would like to follow someone else's journey. You know, if you're going through the same thing that I'm going through. Or if, even if it's not the master cleanse. Even if it's maybe ACG or you're doing something different, you know, with your life. Or you just want someone to subscribe to your channel. Just let me know. Um, I would just like you to return the favor. Um, I guess I'll see you in two days. Bye.